Well, it is National Nutrition Month and the opportunity to include more heart healthy dishes are in your daily diet is what Shannon Smith is cooking up on this Recipe Wednesday. So every year on National Nutrition Month, they pick a theme, and this year it is Fuel for the Future, and Lauren Marduz, registered dietitian, here to talk about that. And one of the ways you interpret it is making sure we're using all the food when we have it. Yeah, being more sustainable, being more conscious of the earth, and using our food kind of from the beginning all the way through till we can possibly, you know, use it. And you're talking about, so say you get a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, you can eat all the chicken off, but then keep those bones because you can make a really great bone broth. Yeah, that's right. So we can take those bones and use them to make bone broth. And the difference between chicken broth and bone broth is bone broth is steeped in a crock pot for at least 24 hours. What that does is it breaks down the collagen within that bone marrow, adds it to our broth, so there's a much higher protein content in bone broth than there is in a regular standard chicken broth. So this is really great for a lot of the patients that I see that aren't interested really in eating breakfast in the morning. There's a higher protein content in this. You know, you can warm it up and have something and use this in place of tea. Um, the other thing that's really great about making your own bone broth is it's cost effective. Yeah. Right. We don't have to make go to the store and pay two fifty for a quart of bone broth. We've already kind of got it in our freezer, ready to go whenever we're ready. All right. So you put the bones in there. You can save them, freeze them when you have enough. Put them in the bottom of the crock pot, water, and then you're adding what? Aromatics. We've got uh, really anything you've got you could save you can save the scraps from your onions you can put you know carrots that are starting you know you're worried about going bad put those in the freezer all of that can go into the crock pot celery bay leaves peppercorns you got some ginger there if you mm -hmm. want that flavor to it and this could even be like a snack if you're feeling kind of low in the afternoon on a cold day it warms you up and it's great because it's affordable and really good for you. Yeah, it really is. The protein, added protein content of the bone broth is really beneficial. All right, sounds good. Well, that's something that we can all do and save a little money when groceries are so expensive and feel good about fueling your body. You can find more recipes and information on Lauren's website. It is saltandhoneynutrition.com.